welcome friends here's a easy tutorial of solidworks 2014 by designing a simple pokeball so let's begin with a sketch draw a circle and give dimension as 100 let the dimension be default now offset the circle by 7 in the reverse direction and now make a horizontal center line as well as a vertical center line both are used for some one another purpose I will show you in the upcoming steps now offset the only the vertical only the horizontal center line bidirectionally by 5mm and now trim the unwanted entities as I am trimming this just follow my steps yeah okay now use the revolve command in the features tab Se select yes select the vertical center line as the axis of rotation select yes yeah it's revolved and uh, press center now it the uh, outer body is ready select the front plane hold the control key and pull out the front plane so that it can make the new plane out of it yeah like this and now I have to give a specific dimension so let's give 55 55 okay now select the plane and uh, enter into sketch mode press ctrl 8 now draw a circle uh, oh sorry I mean draw a circle and give suitable dimensions I'm giving uh, 40 40 looks a uh, bit bigger let's try 20 oh it's too smaller let's try 30 fine now select the boss extrude select uh, reverse the dimension and select up to next yeah right yeah it's done now select the circular surface and select sketch now select convert entities and select the boundary of the circle and press enter yeah now offset the circle unselect by directional tab select reverse and and uh, offset it by 5 mm yeah now select texture oh only to uh, oh but uh, we have to delete the outer s outer circle even so let's exit the uh, exit for a while in the sketch select trim and cut out the outer circle now let's go in extrude and uh, select 2 mm yeah enter now select the upper circular portion and select sketch draw a circle on that surface and give the dimension as 10 extrude by say let's see what happens extrude by 5 no 3 ok 3 5 done now let's move on to the fillet not fillet let's select a chamfer and give the chamfer to the corners of suitable dimensions I am giving here 1 of 1 mm now I can select the chamfer and give the 
time for do another corner event. Yeah. Now this can be seen. Now let's move to the appearance. We have to color the upper circular face as in the red color. So select red, shiny and now red. Yeah, okay. Now select the lower circular face and we have to give it a white color. So it's selected shiny and give white. Now the inner part should be black. So select black. Keep the shiny as it is. And select black. Black and color all the inner parts as black yeah see the image now the, the remaining portion should be of a uh, kind of silver so the color below the uh, white and it's shiny shade shiny shade give it to the all remaining parts okay press center or the green tick yeah we have done with this so now let's go to the rendering the part Se select the render tools tab the render tools can be seen in the bori ribbon let's adjust first the view and then take the render and select final render of oh, select ok let the render complete it will take uh, time depending upon the speed of your computer and the specification of your computer yeah it's swing loader but uh, as you can see we have done a mistake like uh, we have taken the distance to bit more bit of the black section so we would go and edit it now so let's close this before it could complete yes close this window too now go to sketch of the revolved part edit sketch control 8 now the now the f we have to make some changes so this 7 should be less so do it 5 and this let's do it more to 3 ok yeah fine it's done it's ok now now let's go to the render option again select switch to perspective view and select final render done so thank you for watching my tutorial now save the image at any name of any name you want it will be saved in jpg format close this window even this now save this file as also the SLDPRT file Pokeball let me rename it 
okay thanks for watching my tutorial and please subscribe for more such uh, tutorials and tricks videos thank you